Hey, welcome everyone to the short series around mortgages. We've talked already around how much of a mortgage is too much and when is the best time to repay it. And now we're going to talk about how, how can you repay your mortgage even faster? So a $1 million mortgage repaid over 30 years could cost you around $1.3 million just in interest. That's a whole lot of interest. And that's on top of the amount that you borrowed, remember. It's a lot of money. So anything naturally that we can do to reduce that interest bill, well, we should consider it, right? Most borrowers, though, focus on the interest rate alone. In other words, if there's anything that you can do to repay the mortgage faster and ideally in a way that isn't too complicated, well, that's what you should be doing. So today I'm going to cover three strategies you can try to reduce your mortgage faster. And before we go on, make sure that you've given this video a like so that you're more likely to see videos like it the next time you're out there on YouTube doing your thing. Now, the first way that we can repay your mortgage faster is by overpaying. Now, I don't mean giving more money to the bank than you need to. I just mean that you start paying more off of the principal or the amount that you borrowed initially from the bank. But let's take a little step back here just so I can explain things a little bit further. Your monthly mortgage payment to the bank includes both principal payments, which is bits of the amount that you borrowed in the first place, and interest payments, which is the cost of borrowing money. I like to think as interest payments as rent, but it's rent to the bank to rent their money. Now, when you choose to overpay your mortgage, all you're doing is you're adding more to the principal portion of each mortgage payment. Each subsequent payment that you make will then cost you slightly less interest because the balance of the loan has reduced more significantly. Now, providing you keep your regular mortgage payments higher than they need to be, you're going to reduce the amount of time that you're in debt and you're going to save a lot in interest too. So to illustrate, if your regular payment over 30 years was $6,380 per month on a $1 million mortgage, but you decided to pay $7,000 per month instead, you've just trimmed about seven years off the mortgage and you saved over $300,000 in interest in the process. Now, typically, those who have regular sources of income and receive periodic pay rises are probably the ones that can implement this strategy the best. But what if your income is a little bit uncertain or a little bit lumpy or sporadic? Well, that's where the next strategy kicks in. Let's talk about lump sum payments. A lump sum just means a pile of money. It could be a bonus payment or a large commission or an unexpected windfall from a rich relative or simply just surplus income that you've managed to save throughout the year. There's all sorts of reasons why some people find themselves in positions of these big chunks of money. And in the absence of having a better plan for it, it's natural to consider paying it off the mortgage. Most banks will allow a one-off payment to be made off the principal of your mortgage once a year. But you can also do this whenever your mortgage is due to have the interest rate reset or refixed. Because of this one-time payment that's made towards the principal, the interest that you pay over the life of the loan from that point on will now be lower thus making it easier to save even more of your income to either invest or save to make another lump sum payment. For those with uncertain incomes or expenses that are uncertain, doing the regular lump sum payment thing can really be the best option because it allows you to rely on the money that you're saving up while it's being saved. It's kind of like part of your emergency fund. The drawback in making lump sum payments like this, though, is that until you make the lump sum payment, you're generally not getting a very good rate of return on your savings account. And so that brings us to our final strategy that we're going to cover today. And keep in mind that there are many ways that you can do this. I'm just picking three of them. Using an offset or revolving line of credit loan account. Now, the best way to think of these two types of floating rate mortgage accounts is that while you're saving up to make a lump sum payment off your mortgage, you're saving inside a special type of mortgage setup, which is designed to reward you along the way. Savings stored in a savings account linked to an offset mortgage can effectively supercharge the return that you'd get in a traditional savings account. A revolving line of credit acts as a collector of all your surplus income not spent throughout the month. Both of these methods rely on the fact that the rate you can earn as a saver is often far less than the rate that you have to pay as a borrower. 
revolving line of credits and mortgage offsets work great when good old fashioned budgeting and self control is in full effect. So if you can't do those two things, think twice about what you expect these facilities will do. But as long as you consistently spend less than you earn, this can be a great way to reduce your interest bill and repay your mortgage faster. So that's three methods around how to repay your mortgage faster. Remember that there's no one size fits all approach here, just like there isn't a one size fits all approach for pretty much anything to do with money. The difficult aspect around all of this, and therefore the most important thing to consider when choosing the best way to repay your debt fast is to consider your own financial personality and your personal circumstances. Ideally, you'll get advice around this, but also there's no harm in trying a few different ways each time you review your mortgage. If you'd like to learn more about mastering your mortgage, please feel free to subscribe to my newsletter. The link is in the description. Okay, that's it for today. Catch you on the next video.